We're the Republican Watch Party um, at the Renaissance Hotel here in Dallas, Texas. There's a huge turnout here tonight. And of course, there are a lot of John McCain supporters. The atmosphere of the crowd is very easy going in as the numbers are rolling in. Uh, now they, we have, they also have a live band behind me, as you can see. And uh, we, they, we've been told that they're going to be performing all night. Also, along with other ticket candidates that are on this Republican ballot, they're here. We had a chance earlier to speak with Judge Mary Murphy, and she's very excited about not only her campaigning, but also the presidential campaign. She feels that this is a very historical event that's happening here tonight. Um, as we're seeing them right now, the current numbers that are rolling in, Senator Barack Obama is in at 200, and Senator John McCain is in at 124. I talked to a couple of people earlier, and they said that no matter what the numbers come in, that it can always turn around easily, and that they're still going to have hope for their Republican candidate, Senator John McCain. Sam Johnson, candidate for U.S. Representative District 3, gave a brief speech. He appreciated the people's support. He stated he wanted to continue to fight for lower taxes. He wanted to drill for oil. And most of all, he wanted to thank our military. He ended the speech by saying, God bless you and God bless America. This is Latanya Richardson reporting live from KDUX TV. We're here live at the Republican National um, the Watch Party here at the Renaissance Hotel in Dallas, Texas. And here joining me, I have Robert Schlein. How are you today? Oh, uh, I'm doing pretty well. I guess I should say, how are you tonight? I I'm feeling great. Uh, it's too bad the uh, election is not going our way, but uh, doing well. Okay, now you're you're um, a representative for a group for uh, gay. Quality is that correct? We are with Log Cabin Republicans. We are a group of gay and lesbian Republicans advocating for fairness and freedom uh, within the Republican Party, trying to build that bigger tent and recommending to our party to become more inclusive because the only way we're going to win elections in the future is by bringing more people into the party. Hello, this is James Sullivan from KDUX. Angie Chin Button won Texas State House District 112. She voiced that her campaign was very difficult. Button spoke to Corona and stated that she would be seeking his guidance through her position. She voiced her gratitude and appreciation for the support of the other candidates. This is Randy Agarbar reporting from the Dallas County Republican Party Election Night Watch Party at the ballroom of the Radisson Hotel near downtown Dallas, where it has certainly been an eventful election evening. We've already seen U.S. Representatives Pete Sessions, as well as Texas House Representative Andy Chen Button and Re Texas House Representative Dan Branch all secure their respective races. And finally, after two years of campaigning, we can finally announce that the 44th President of the United States of America will in fact be America's first African-American President. With 306 electoral votes to John McCain's 145, the, um, Barack Obama has already garnered the minimum 270 votes needed to win the presidential election. With over 50% of closed precincts reporting nationwide, and more yet to come, Obama never once lagged behind John McCain in the race, and John McCain has already given his concession speech. Reporting from the Republican Election Night Watch Party, this is Randy Agobar, KDUX.